Okay, how you doing guys? It's Jake here from Jake and Dar. And um, I felt inclined to do a little video here. Not necessarily a video to, to come down on anyone um, not in particular, but uh, as, as you can see here, I got two videos, I got two screens up on, on the computer here. And um, I'm having a bit of a dilemma, okay? Uh, see, what happened was um, a few weeks ago, I went out and I found, I looked around for a webcam and I found a, a, a very in inexpensive webcam. It was in a used shop, but it was brand new in the box. Anyways, this is the webcam that I'm talking about. Probably can't see that with all the light behind it. It's the, uh, it's the Phil uh, Philips webcam. Found it for $25. Still, still packaged in the box. Uh, the particular model number is uh, S SPZ sixty five hundred slash twenty seven. So that camera didn't work properly. Uh, this is what this is what came up when I plugged the camera. It says particular. It says in particular on the back of the the box in very small print. Let me see if the camera's going to focus. There you go, right there, la. This webcam works with Mac OS X as a plug-and-play device. The software included is for video and sound enhancement, only compatible with Windows XP and later versions. Okay. Okay, so. But this is what, when I plug it directly into the Mac, this is what I'm seeing. This is the color. Now, that is, is not right. There's something wrong with that color, obviously. As you can see. Um... The color, the white balance is way out. There's something definitely wrong with that. So, I don't know if it's something, like, I, I don't know, like, it doesn't make any sense. It, you're not supposed to download anything for the Mac to get these cameras to run properly. Because it does specify on the back that it, it is, is, is it just a plug-and-play device for the Mac. So you shouldn't have to download anything. You shouldn't need any extra programs on the Mac to run this. Uh, so you can see that the colors are really messed up there. Um, it's looking slightly darker on on the camera than it is to me. It's 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 more of a wash. It's a little bit more washed out. A little a little more whitish looking. It's got a little bit more of a reddish in the camera. But uh, that's definitely not right. And the pictures on the back wall uh, look like they're turned around. <laughs> it looks like we're looking at the back side of them and seeing through them. So now just to show you an example here of why the color is messed up and I don't know maybe somebody can help me out with this I don't know but anyways I'll set this back to the built-in eyesight so you can see the difference in the color balance and the color what the, the, the color reproduction okay unfortunately I got the cameras in front of the eyesight there you go see there's the difference okay that looks much more normal um, Colors are a little enhanced on the camera, so they're a little bit, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, um, the, 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 I can't remember now. Anyways, the colors are a little more brighter on the camera than, the, than what I'm seeing. But at least that's normal. That's, that's much more normal with the color balances and stuff like that. All right. Um, I'll set it to another camera that I have plugged in here, which was a very cheap camera. I came across a very cheap camera for four dollars, believe it or not. Real, real cheap webcam. And I'll show you the difference with that one. Okay, now we're going to set it to that one. And there's the difference. Now this one, at least the colors are, are more correct. And this is the camera here. Can't see it without the light on here. If I turn the light on for a second, you'll be able to see it. There's the camera there. It's just a very cheap webcam. Four dollars. I mean, if that's if you want something cheap, you don't care about any kind of quality. It's got lights there, look. I turn on. It's a USB. Anyways, basically, there's what you're seeing. I said, there's there's what I'm seeing on this camera, and at least the colors are a little bit more balanced properly. Uh, um, it's it's a little bit of a blurrier camera because it's only a 1.3 megapixel, whatever. But it's not as sharp as the other ones. Or it's not as sharp as the eyesight, anyways. But at least the color looks more normal. So and that's the four dollar <laughs> webcam. And uh, so I mean, there is definitely something f 
funny about this Philips webcam. I, why it's coming up like that, this is back to the Philips now. Why it's coming up like that, I have no idea, but that is totally weird. Now, I've discovered that, you know, downloading the drivers, because I have a netbook too, and the, downloading the drivers didn't make any difference either, because when I plugged this into the netbook, and down, when I downloaded the drivers and ran the drivers, and, and I plugged it into the netbook, that's, that's, this is exactly what I've gotten on the netbook too. Um, however, the only way I've found that this Philips webcam will actually work is if you actually install the disk that comes with it. But uh, unfortunately, the disk does not work in the Mac, and I do not have a disk drive in the netbook. So I'm kind of out of out of luck there. Yeah. So. So by the way, there's another one right there on top of the computer. Obviously, you guys are looking at that. <laughs> um, Philips was nice enough, however, that. They decided that the other camera that I bought for 25 bucks, they were nice enough to actually send me the camera that's on top of the computer now. So they sent me another free webcam. Unfortunately, this one is not is working exactly the same as the other one. So I don't know. I'm confused. If you're totally confused on this, like it says, it's supposed to be a plug-and-play device for the Mac. It's not supposed to be using any other drivers whatsoever. So I don't know if you guys can, if anybody out there knows what the heck is going on with these Philips webcam, then. Uh, Please let me know. Other than that, you know, I can't do much with this thing. Um, I guess the only thing I could do is maybe get somebody to put the disk information onto a USB uh, drive and, and, and maybe install it into the netbook that way. But other than that, I'm, I'm shit out of luck for the Mac, I guess. I mean, this is as best it's going to look for the Mac. You can't use any drivers for the Mac whatsoever. So, silly, eh? And don't you go blame it on the Mac because it's not the Mac. <laughs> You friggin' uh, you uh, Mac haters! <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a comment or two on that one. Anyways, this is what the Philips cam looks like. It's not working. It's just not working out. The colors not not right. It's nice and bright. When you turn the lights down, you still see when you turn the lights off. Now this is what you get when you turn the lights off. And the colors are are the colors look more normal. Yes, when the lights are down. But now I'm getting lots of lines and stuff throughout. It looks really really the quality has gone really way down I don't think you can see it on the camera I ought to turn that damn light off no wonder you can't see it there you go there you can see it now thank you very much dummy me dummy dummy me anyways now you can see all the lines in the camera that I'm seeing with the lights turned down so I mean what do you do you can't use webcam with all the friggin lines on it and uh, most of what you're seeing is coming from the webcam it's coming from the lines on the webcam. It's not uh, because I'm facing the camera at the uh, computer screen. If you turn back to the, if I quickly go back to the USB camera, the 2.0, you won't see those lines. See, there's no lines, and that looks much more normal. Okay, so yeah. Anyways, the USB camera is not bad. It's a little bit blurry, but. Well, I just thought I would throw this video up and make it right quick, and so you guys can maybe somebody can help me out and figure out why this this uh, Philips cam is, is acting funny like that. Other than that, I mean, it's no good to me. It's just it's a hundred dollar camera too. Well, it's eighty nine bucks, you know, in parts of the states on web on websites and stuff like that, and it's it's a hundred dollars here in in Canada. So if I just turn the lights back on low, it just that's what happens. It just starts going up right that funny color again. Anyways. Well, thanks for your time, guys. If you got any information, uh, sure, sure, please comment below and send me through something. And if not, uh, well, thanks for watching. Appreciate that very much. Now, yeah, have a good day then, and then uh, keep your mugs full. Cheers, everyone. Thank you very much for for sticking around while I bab babbled on about these silly webcams. And <laughs> I may have to try another webcam, I suppose. <laughs> okay, take care. See you later.